differences show up on tests that have been largely constructed by white males. That's true, but Japanese people and Oriental people generally score higher on those same tests than do whites. Furthermore, it doesn't have to be those kinds of tests that we're looking at. If you look at educational performance, if you look at economic performance, if you look at job performance, not just in the United States, but in London, England, in Africa, in Europe, in Asia, everywhere, the pattern is consistent. And is it not true that the governor, what is essentially would be our governor of Ontario, uh, has called for your dismissal from... Oh, he called for me to be dismissed. He phoned up the university president, asked for me to be fired. The university president defended my academic freedom. So the governor of the state, so to speak, put the Ontario Provincial Police onto me. They carried out a six-month investigation under the Canadian Criminal Code, which investigated me under the hate literature section right. and under the spreading of um, uh, incorrect news. And after a six-month investigation, they concluded that although my ideas were crazy, they were not criminal. But of course, by then, the damage had been done, and my reputation was extremely tarnished. And I assume you do uh, acknowledge receiving funds from the Pioneer Fund. Oh, I certainly do, yes. And you deny, I assume, the Pioneer Fund, the allegation that the Pioneer Fund is a neo-Nazi organization. Of course, complete rubbish. Barry Mailer, Ph.D., professor of history of science at Ferris State University in Big Rapids, Rapids, Michigan. Well, you've been here before. Here we are again. Yes. Um, uh, I uh, saw Phil at the AAAS, uh, the American Association of Science Meetings, in February. He came, I gave a press conference, and he came to hear me, and I gave a paper. And afterwards, we sat down for a cup of coffee together. And he said, Barry, you made some excellent points. But this neo-Nazi business, I mean, I know these people. You're talking about stand-up guys. And I said, Phil, you're a stand-up guy, and you're a neo-Nazi. <laughs> and he, and he, he went back, and he said, I don't understand. I'll bet you're going to say you're foursquare against that kind of politics. Well, of course, it's absolute nonsense. This is the thing. Dr. Mailer and all my opponents don't have to answer the intellectual argument. All they have to do is start throwing words around like Nazi and racist and fascist, and it's a label they pin on people, and then you don't even attend to what the person says. What he's just been talking about is a load of absolute rubbish. And the question is, and I put it to him, why do, say, black children walk one month earlier than white children? Why do white children walk one month earlier than oriental children? Those are interesting research questions. I'm a scientist. I've written five books. 100 research articles, I've won various awards. I have no political agenda whatsoever. I'm simply trying to find out why people are the way they are. But you also permit yourself to make the value judgment. No, I don't. I don't make any value to judgment. To suggest that Asians are inferior in intelligence to whites and blacks Those is a are value words judgment. That you used, I never talk about inferior or superior. Well, what is They're... your language then? And perhaps I should ask you they score higher or lower on various traits. Some things like sociability, for example, oh. blacks are more sociable than white people. White people are more sociable than orientals. Uh -huh. Sociable Why? measured by what criteria, developed in what culture, and, uh, and advanced you by know, what research? You raised a very interesting point about the New York Times this morning about these black youths who had beaten up this oriental person. A Vietnamese you know, person, yes. Yes, if you had read the New York Times fully, what it said at the very bottom was one of the black neighbors said, you know, those orientals were not very friendly. They were rude. They never smiled. Now, what I'm suggesting is that there really are racial differences in temperament that we've got to learn to understand one another by. Uh, 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 I don't think that orientals and are... And sometimes as... Cadillacs break down. This is an, you know, this is an anecdote you're sharing with us, Phil, Doctor. if we will just, he's saying, if we will just understand that blacks have small brains, large genitals, are inferior in intelligence, are more prone to aggression and criminal behavior, uh, then we'll all get along a lot better. I'd like to ask you why even do this research? Don't you know it's going to cause problems? And if you create this perfect society, what are you going to do with it? I mean, what's after that? My job is to find out why people differ from one another. You know, children, even in the same family, if you have two children or siblings, they differ from each other genetically and behaviorally. They're not the same. Well, if you think of how different two children in the same family can be, just think how different the human races are likely to be. 
I, I just think of how different individuals within the human yes, community can exactly. be. Exactly. There's nothing controversial about that. No, and my job for years has been to look at individual differences. But then when I started looking at but genetics, I found these big mountains of gene pools called races and ethnic groups within races. Uh -huh. And they interested me. And they interest everybody. We've all got theories yes. as to why yes. Orientals are different from blacks and so on. Because Orientals are not the same as blacks. We all know that. And I'm suggesting the difference is partly genetic and the differences oh. lie in evolution. Would that explain why, uh, on average, the Irish might be different than the Germans? It might. I haven't looked at Irish and German, so I can't answer. You haven't. But I've looked at the three major races. Uh-huh. Well, Phil, I can but tell you But you're, you're something. suggesting that when you say that blacks score lower on average than whites or Asians, you draw no particular value judgment from this information? I don't personally. I'm just trying to describe uh -huh. the but situation as it share, is. But you do share, do you not, with your academic audiences, your belief that the reason for this is... Uh, is genetic. I believe it's about 50% genetic, yes. That's, that's uh -huh. the best. So genes the then account for the uh, cross variability about of these? About half of it. The other half is definitely environmental. From all the twin studies that we've been able to look at so far, that's about the best estimate. I'm just, I'm a scientist and I'm trying to find out what the causes are. You see, if you, if you say, well, black crime is due to white racism, you're saying that's the explanation. And what I'm saying is, that might not be all of the explanation. There might be something inherent in populations that make people behave differently in temperament or intelligence or what have you. Yeah. Just collected a whole lot of data from NASA, the space agency, which looked at military samples from Korea, from right. Japan, and compared yeah. them with NATO countries. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. Orientals do have larger heads they on do. average yeah. than whites. Well. That's you know, uh, let's, let's, we'll be here all day arguing the yeah. data. So what? You mean a bigger brain means a smarter person? Slightly so, yes. On average. And a big and larger genitals mean more promiscuity. That is something that the media likes to hype up. I've looked well, did at you say that or didn't you? Sexual intercourse frequencies. You see, if the World Health Organization has looked around the world at how often people have intercourse, even in the, with their husbands. Right now, China has just produced a Chinese Kinsey report. It was written up in Time magazine last week. Oriental populations have less sexual partners than do whites. Whites have fewer sexual partners than do blacks. This has dire consequences. If you look at the worldwide distribution of sexually transmitted diseases like syphilis, gonorrhea, and the pandemic that's killing people, AIDS, the racial differences are there. They're there in New York City. They're there in the Caribbean. They're there right around the world, and, and those are facts. In effect, I am not allowed to speak. In effect, there is a censorship. People like me and Arthur Jensen at Berkeley and other people, Mike Levin here at City University, if we get up to speak, we're shouted down, we have the police put on us, uh, we don't get an opportunity to put our point of view across. Yes. I think we should never generalize from what I'm saying to any particular individual. I, I think that would be a terrible mistake. We mustn't do that. I guess maybe you think it's important for us to know, but right now, what, what's the purpose? I mean, it's I just think, causing more racial I tension by bringing it out. I think we can learn to live out. together much better when we accept what people are really like and not forever trying to expect things from them, which we're not going to find. Yeah. I mean, that's basically it. We have the return to Romania of the Romanian Iron Guard. We are talking about World War II Nazis Sounds on the like march that. again, and, and we're talking about, no, I, I mean, you don't believe, you, no, I don't, you say, but anybody who does race communism. research, I'm anybody, who, communism anybody who does fallen. race research is a Nazi. Well, that's like me saying that anybody who disagrees with me must be a Marxist. I mean, you mustn't call people names like this, Barry. It really isn't well, right. <laughs> so well, the point of this... Okay. Well, I believe that there are cultural and social differences between the races, but I think everybody has the same capability to learn or to be sexually active, promiscuous, whatever. I don't think, if you're taking these facts, this data that you've found, and you're relating it or using it to, you know, use your own opinions, you know, uh, yep. illustrate your own opinions with it, that's, that's racism. I you're right, it would you. be. But the thing is, you see, why is it that whites always, on 60 different variables around the world, consistently fall between the other two populations? What that implies is that there are very powerful forces at work to have brought them about, evolutionary forces.
And I'll all, give you a chance to comment, I all promise. All human beings are members of the same species. We are all connected. We all are evolved in Africa about 200,000 years ago. Humans are all members of the same group. We can all interbreed with one another. And the differences are relatively small, but they are there. If we believe in your philosophy of superiority and inferiority, what do you suppose we should do? Kill the inferior? Look, I don't believe that there is any master race. I don't believe that some races are superior or inferior. I just think we're different, and that we've got to come to terms with understanding the degrees of genetic differences. Yes, but once we understand... And it's not just in the United States. This is true in Malaysia. It's true in London, England. It's true all over Africa. Every country has ethnic groups which differ from one another. Yes. Let's accept Briefly, the diversity. Please,